I think people have thought of RIT traditionally as an undergraduate institution, but the fact is that graduate students now make up an increasing part of the student body, and their numbers are increasing every year. We have a group of uh, graduate students who form our graduate student advisory committee, and I, I challenge them to come up with something that would help to focus and to um, lift up the idea of research, and they came up with this concept of a symposium. And that was to just have a day that all the students can get together and give presentations about the work and the research that they're doing. I originally came to RIT uh, wanting to understand about how, how life propagates itself through the universe. At the moment, my research is on young stars. Uh, I like to study how stars form. Life is most likely everywhere in the universe. And to understand how life forms, you have to understand how our solar system formed. And to understand how our solar system formed, you have to understand how our sun formed. And so uh, star formation process is really important in that sense because it's sort of the beginning of the propagation of life. I am from Peru and I created this water desalinator uh, device and um, the aspect of sustainability that got me interested in the first place was more of the uh, sustainable development, uh, social sustainability approach. You know, climate change which is the, the most well-known sustainability issue that we have today and it's applied to a developing country that has specific challenges in terms of uh, socioeconomic, cultural, and geographic uh, aspects to it. So I, I thought it was very interesting. So I'm working on a project called Artwork Evolution, and I did this for my genetic algorithms course. And what I had to do was I had to implement some kind of evolutionary algorithm. So I decided to do that with artwork. And what my program does is it takes a mathematical expression and converts it into an image. My goal for this project is to really introduce the general public to genetic art. So with this mobile application, I'm creating a way for users to just to touch the screen and create new images on the fly. They can do this while they're sitting down anywhere. I'm from Rwanda and I did a project on impact of sediment transport on the water supply with a case study uh, in the River in Rwanda. Uh, back home, uh, the water treatment plant which supplies water to the city had problems of uh, supplying water in a continuous basis. And my objectives were to determine uh, a method of controlling uh, the impact of sediment to water quality of the river in the long run. I am in the nanolithography research labs and we are focused in doing research in lithography, which is basically the process where semiconductor IC circuits are patterned with light and basically what we're trying to do is extend the process further so we can make really small features because your new technologies that are coming out, the faster computers, the faster cell phones, it's all driven by smaller and smaller features and the smaller and smaller features are developed by nanolithography. Ten years from now we don't really know where we're going to be because we're almost at the limits of physics but somebody's got to be there in order to determine where it's going to go and that's where I want to be. My area of research is computer vision, and specifically on facial understanding, uh, detecting facial features, as well as facial expression. Right now, we're very used to uh, modalities of input to computers where we use uh, the keyboard and a mouse. Well, the next generation of that, I say, is we could just, by moving our head, uh, by changing, you know, smiling, you know, surprised, you know, angry, we can change the content or behaviors. We can walk up to a display on Macy's Fifth Avenue, and we can interact with that display. An event like this is important for the RIT community, not just for the community and the greater Rochester area, but also for the grad students themselves. They get to see what goes on elsewhere in the school. So a graduate student who may have seen their fellow engineering student give a talk already, they may not have seen uh, maybe what an art student's doing or what a business student is up to. One of the other benefits is that some grad students may or may not have access to full um, international conference style events and so this affords them the ability to attend something like that. I like the symposium. I think it was, it was very well put together. Uh, I learned a lot about presenting myself from seeing other people present. I really wanted to go to the Graduate Research Symposium in order to see what art students are doing, what imaging science students are doing, what computer science students are doing. I think this day is a good day for students to sort of see the work that's being done by other students. Um, it really gives you some perspective on kind of the things that happen on campus. That was a, a great um, 
a great experience because I did share uh, with others uh, what I did and also to make people uh, know that uh, my country is green and have uh, a goal of sustainability. I think it's a great opportunity to showcase the research that's going on at RIT. I think the more people we get involved, the better. I, just, I, I like the feedback, the questions that people ask afterwards. Uh, last year I collaborated with a couple of folks that I met during a symposium, so I'm hoping to do more of the same this year. The foundational idea is to lift up the idea of research and to make that a integral part of what RIT is doing. And the talks here are wonderful. They're broad, they're uh, deep, they're interesting, and we have a great group of students, and that's what we're really proud of. I'm delighted uh, at the way this, is, uh, this has worked out and how very rapidly it's become a signature event on the RIT campus. Uh, I think we're going to see in the next few years that uh, graduate education and graduate students are going to be the drivers of the future of RIT. We're going to see new programs emerging, graduate students and the contributions that they make, particularly uh, in research uh, and the creative fields, uh, as being uh, the propulsion for new directions uh, in education, thinking, and of course, our contribution to the wider world.